That's true. Is there anything that you are confident you can get signed into law before the midterm elections? Yes, I'm confident we can get uh, pieces, big chunks of the uh, Build Back Better law signed into law. It's clear to me that, uh, um, that we're going to have to uh, probably uh, break it up. Um, I think that we can get, and I've been talking to a number of my colleagues on the Hill, I think it's, it's clear that we would be able to get support for the for the 500 plus billion dollars for uh, energy and the environmental issues that are there, uh, number one. Uh, number two, uh, I know that uh, the two people who've opposed on the Democratic side, at least, um, support a number of the things that are in there. For example, Joe Manchin strongly supports early education, three and four years of age, strongly supports that. Um, there is strong support for, I think, uh, a number of uh, the way in which to pay for these, uh, uh, pay for this proposal. So I think there is, I'm not going to, I'm not going to negotiate against myself as to what should and shouldn't be in it, but I think we can break the package up, get as much as we can now, and come back and fight for the rest later. Once Omicron arrives, though, we will need to step up further. That's why I'm confirming today that when Omicron enters into the community, beyond border-related cases, the whole country will move into red within 24 to 48 hours. We know from other countries that Omicron can take as little as 14 days for cases to grow from the hundreds into the thousands across the country. It is important to remember, though, that red does not mean lockdowns or regional boundaries, and business remains open. What it does mean is immediately increasing our use of masks, changing the way we interact in hospitality, and reducing gathering sizes in order to slow Omicron down. North Korea may resume tests of its nuclear weapons and intercontinental ballistic missiles. State media KCNA said Thursday that Pyongyang was considering lifting a self-imposed suspension on those activities. Tension has been rising between the U.S. and North Korea in recent weeks over Pyongyang's unusually rapid series of short-range missile tests, conducting four so far this year. But North Korea has not tested its nuclear weapons or long-range missiles since 2017, as it started engaging in denuclearization talks with South Korea and the United States. Before that, it tested a missile capable of striking the U.S. mainland. However, Washington's push for fresh sanctions this month was called hostile by Pyongyang. Its powerful Politburo of the Workers' Party said the U.S. has reached a danger line, citing its continued joint drills with Seoul and its repeated calls for sanctions. The U.S. State Department and White House did not immediately respond to a request for comment. 
Pyongyang has defended the missile launches as its sovereign right to self-defense and accused Washington of applying double standards. What is U.S. President Joe Biden defended his tenure so far at a news conference on Wednesday as he approaches one year in office. Biden was asked about his sagging approval ratings and whether he had promised more than he could deliver. I didn't overpromise, but I think if you take a look at what we've been able to do, uh, you'd have to acknowledge we made enormous progress. Both of his administration's priorities have failed in Congress. The infrastructure spending package Build Back Better and a federal voting rights bill. Although Biden says he could still pass it in big chunks, if not the full package. He acknowledged his administration could have done more on COVID-19 testing and that he could do better to connect with the American people. However, Biden defended U.S. job and new business growth and low unemployment. One challenge he said he underestimated was pushback from the opposing party. I did not anticipate that there'd be such a stalwart effort to make sure that the most important thing was that President Biden didn't get anything done. Think about this. What are Republicans for? What are they for? Name me one thing they're for. Biden's Democrats are fighting to retain control of Congress amid falling approval ratings and a flood of Republican-backed state laws that civil rights advocates say could suppress black and minority votes. Midterm elections will be held this November.